Okay, hey guys, um, welcome back to uh, Cup of Java. Uh, I've been away a couple of days, but I've been working on it in the background, and uh, I have uh, figured out what was wrong at the end uh, of the last uh, video, and uh, went over it and uh, checked it out. <clears throat> and um, actually have the game, uh, well, actually have the, uh, the example drawn on the screen. So I have my uh, main sprite here. It has a couple of different um, uh, images. So duck, you jump, and you can move left and right. Uh, do a scrolling background, and there are, there are two enemies. We did the enemy class. We went a little bit ahead. So we can... Um, know what we're getting into um, for the most part I do understand uh, the code some of it some of it um, well, let's see um, still don't I understand the the class uh, situation but I don't get how to use it yet maybe that will come in time I don't know how I would end up using them uh, or why I would need to use them when you can just do it all in one class, really. So I'm um, trying to figure that out. And um, uh, getting to know the APIs, that's the next thing. Uh, and understanding them. Um, we're still working that out. Um, but from what, um, from the stuff in the tutorial, I pretty much got it, actually. Um nothing too difficult just the syntax really that's what I'm getting caught up on the syntax and um, and why um, but I did learn something really cool and um, I've seen it in other languages but Eclipse makes this like super easy um, so we declared a couple of uh, it's probably better easier to understand the enemy class you declare a couple of variables right here, and what you can do is you can um, let's see, oh. Not index. Where's the other stuff? Oops, this is the wrong tool. I mean, wrong package. Here we go. Uh, and um, we have a couple of um, where is it? Anyway, there we go. So we hit uh, was it source. We can do generate setters and getters. We already have them uh, made. But what it does is it it does makes these um, methods that either sets the variable or gets a variable. So you can uh, actually so you can call these methods from another uh, class. I've seen it done before, like in other language in other languages like basic and stuff. Like that, but um, no, I understand it, and it's it's easy to make it yourself. Like, um, let's see where it's been used, right here. So BGX, that's um, that's a, a variable in, um, I think, in background. And um, after running the set get thing, now you can actually get the value of BGX. So um, for, for, for BG1, so that's, that's all cool. And um, let's see. Now we're gonna do a another class. Um, we're going to be shooting bullets. All right. So first we gotta uh, we gotta create a, a class called projectiles. So game new class projectiles. All right. So projectile class, um, within the bullet class, we create a method that handles shooting. Okay, so let's follow the instructions. Okay, projectile, check the box labeled constructors from super class. So I should have been reading, really. Um, there's probably an easier way to do this, but I'm just gonna do it again. Alright, so there we go, class, check, tiles, and uh, what does it say? Check the box table constructors from super class, 
they have that. That's that. Are you okay? Okay. So we have the same layout. Um, okay, so um, now we just needed to clear some variables. I'm just going to copy paste these. Where do we declare these variables? Um, so there we go. Um, so we had two parameters uh, public. Uh, it takes no parameters, so I'll just take two guys in start x in start y. To so set these um, start x start y variables into the class y x y variables, and to set the speed x of the boat and to initialize the, uh, the visible boolean, we declare the following four statements. Okay. Why would you be calling visible? Or maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, so we gotta create a uh, update method. the following statements in oops a little bit distracted there So let's see what this does. So x plus equals speed. That makes sense. Um, speed x. If x is greater than 800, because the resolution is 800 by 480, I would guess visible would be false, so I wouldn't have to draw it. Um, but I guess this. That could be a variable in the future. It could be like, um, what is it? Uh, where is uh, the resolution? There we go, get size. So maybe it would be like starting class that get width or something? Get width or get height or whatever. Whatever. So let's just see. Um, it will continue to update the x coordinate by adding it. Uh, adding to it the speed in the x direction. Uh, the if uh, checks if the boat is off screen. That's what I said. Uh, not quick get get this in setters. Strangely, this is my favorite part. All right, there we go. So if we get x, it will return the x value. And if we set x, it will modify the x value. Okay. Wow. All right. That should be for projectile class. There's a final code. All right. Creating an array list in the robot class. Okay. Now we're getting. So let's go to robot class. To do so, we've, uh, we first declare private array lists. Oh. Okay, that. Still learning stuff. Alright, so projectile isn't defined. Alright, so our array lists. So we import array lists and does that sort of the issues?
do we have what's projectiles do we have to define projectiles no below jump method uh, I will add the shoot method I don't think equips it keeps these things um, like minimize jump Oops. so public void I would guess shoot um, what code should I put in there What is projectiles? A realist projectile. Okay. Uh, this method simply creates a new projectile, labels it P as the projectiles, adds it to the projectiles, a realist. We create this 50 pixels to the right and 25 pixels above the center of the robot, which is where the gun is. Uh, create a getter method as follows. I guess it's below this one. Hmm. Yet to define projectiles. Projectile. Projectiles is there. Okay. This will reference uh, this newly created arrayless from other classes. Your finished robot looks like this. Okay. Where is it? I did. I did do that one. Projectiles. Okay. And I get her setter. Get her actually. Uh, changing the run method. If it was run. Oh, that's going to take forever. Where's run? Or is that for an that might actually be starting class? There we go. Robot update. Robot jump. I just add this in. This is definitely going to throw an error somewhere. Oops, cool that. Which I should have. These aren't defined, and at the very least, I got to import. Um, so, where do we get. Alright, so let's talk about what we did here. We created a new array list called projectiles and gave it the value projectiles. Arrayless is in uh, uh, arrayless in robot. Um, after that, it checks you know, blah 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 paint method. Let me go draw it and I'll try to debug it from there. All right, so so I can understand what it's doing. Projectiles, that's all right, but projectile P. Don't 
Do I have to call this projectiles? So that's where I went wrong. The class name. Alright, so where is Roboto? Okay. So we did the paint method. Debugged it. Alright, so now we're going back into starting class to the was it key pressed? Uh, it's gonna be for control, so we're just gonna add this sucker in. Shift, shift, control, shift, F. I know I broke something somewhere, but um, let's see. Is that all? Um, so let's, let's run and see what happens. Is it through an error? Where is that error? Projectile. Okay. All right. Let's run this. There we go. And if I hit Control, holy shit, it actually works. I am astounded. Jump, jump, duck, shoot, shoot. Can't jump and shoot because it's in the code not to allow that and uh, right here if duct is equal false all right let's let's do this let's oh crap we can we don't want to do that nope, we gotta do a clean there we go so even if i duck Oh, this is uh, this is actually pretty amazing. So we can put these back, so we can follow up with the rest of the tutorials. Yippee, yippee! All right, uh, and on that bombshell, and on that bombshell, I think this is gonna be this for uh, this is gonna be it for this episode of uh, Cup of Java. Um, kind of getting better at finding the errors, even although some still baffle me. Although it's always down to um, my error instead of like a, a, a tutorial error, and um, um, there's not a lot of creativity in allowing me to to figure out what's what. Um, that didn't make any sense. I guess um let's see what's what's all what else is um on the chopping block. Oh, what's that? oh yeah, we're just making a squ square and filling it with a color uh, animations. Oh that's gonna be interesting. So we we're gonna tackle this tomorrow. Um Yep. It's been a cool episode.